In this video, I'll walk you through the process of customizing the refresh theme on Shopify. So even if you are a complete beginner, you'll be able to design a beautiful online store that stands out from the crowd. What are you looking to customize the colors, fonts, or layout of this store? I'm going to show you everything you need to know to design your dream e-commerce store. So let's get started. Okay, so first go to online store themes, then add theme and visit the theme store. Click on explore themes, select free, and here you'll be able to see the refresh theme. So click on it and click on try theme. This will add the refresh theme to your Shopify store. Now, once you've added the refresh theme, simply click on customize next to it. Okay, so here we are inside of the theme customizer and it's time to begin customizing our refresh theme. So the first thing that you need to know is that there are two ways to view your website when you're customizing the theme. The first one is with a desktop view. So it's going to, you're going to look at the website the way people are gonna see it through desktop. And the second one, if you click here in the top right hand corner, you can switch it to mobile. So this is actually you viewing the store as someone would be viewing it from, from mobile. And this is actually very handy because a lot of people nowadays shop with on their phone. So if you're going to be buying advertisements on social media, TikTok or Facebook or Instagram, whatever, then optimizing your website design for mobile first is very handy, okay? So with that in mind, I'm going to be customizing the store through for mobile first, and then I'm going to be making sure to double check on desktop to make sure everything looks good, okay? Now, the first thing that I like to customize is I wanna go to the product page because from my experience, this is one of the most important uh, elements of the website. You know, this is where I was driving most of the traffic. And if I go to shop and I go to this product right here, so we're going to be customizing this portable ice bath. As you can see, there is not much information, just uh, some intro just some description here and yeah. So let's begin customizing this store. Where I like to begin is I like to begin in theme settings and I like to go and I like to start with logo, colors and typography, right? So these are kind of the main parts uh, of, you know, the, the product page and the overall store, right? So to design the logo, go to canva.com, click on create design and then click on custom size. The width, I'm gonna do 500 and the height, 100 pixels. And then I'm gonna create a new design. And this will give us this rectangular shape. And this is what we are looking for. So now I'm gonna click on text, add a heading. I'm gonna make this bigger. And our brand is called Explore Ice. This is an existing brand already, so don't sue me, please. I'm just doing this for uh, purposes of this tutorial. All right, there we go and I'm gonna keep it at black. Now I'm gonna click on share and I'm gonna click on download. If by the way you want to change the logo, font or color or whatever, you just simply click on it. You navigate to different fonts here on the left or you can change the size or the color, you can make it italic or whatever. But I'm just showing you the very basic version of how to make like a transparent logo. Then you go to remove.bg and you upload the logo that you just downloaded. All right, there we have it. And now I'm gonna click on download. This is basically the same logo that we just created, but without the background. And now I'm gonna go back to Shopify and I'm gonna upload this transparent logo. All right, so I uploaded the logo, but as you can see, because the header is dark, you can't really see the black logo. So now you have two options. You can either change the color of the header. So to do that, you go to colors, you click on the secondary colors text here, and then you can change it to let's say white, and then you can see the logo. But the problem is that when you change this color, everything else here changes as well. So the text changes to white and we don't want that, right? So we want the text to be black. So if we want the text to be black, then we gotta change the color of the logo. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go back to Canva. I'm gonna click on this logo and I have already done it, but you wanna click on effects. You wanna click on outline and then you wanna click on color, change it to black and you wanna make it kinda of thick, so maybe around 50, and then you wanna click on share, download, and download PNG. Now go back to remove BG and upload the new logo. By the way, if there's some part of the logo that you wanna restore or remove, you can simply go to the edit feature and you can color in where you want to uh, fix the part. So as you can see, this background remover completely removed the white from inside of the uh, logo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in the parts of every letter that I'd, I want it to be white, right? So this way we can have a white logo 
that will have a transparent background. And once you fix the logo, click on download. Now go back to logo, remove this one and upload your new logo. And there we have it. Now it's actually looking quite good. Explore ice in white with a black header. Okay, let's click on save and let's move on to the colors. So now we go to colors and let's start playing around with the colors to see how we want it to look. Okay, so this accent color is this announcement bar right here. By the way, as we are here on the announcement, we might as well go ahead here and fix the announcement, right? So if you want to have the announcement, you can just click on it, right? And you can change the text here. If you don't want the announcement, you navigate to the left and you click on this eye icon right here and this will hide the announcement, okay? So depending on your style and how you wanna position the brand, right? If you wanna have it there, you can say something like free shipping on orders over $100, right? So by saying this, right, I'm gonna incentivize people to buy two, right? So let's say that whatever you're selling, right, the price point is 69, uh, euros or dollars, you can say, hey, free shipping on orders over 100. So this means that they will need to buy two to get free shipping and people love free shipping. So this will incentivize them to buy, right? So I'm going to keep this as it is here. You can also align the text to the left, to the right, um, and you can change the color scheme here as well. So you can, for example, say that you want to attach this color scheme to accent two or background one or inverse, etc. Okay. And lastly, you can also paste the link here. So let's say that you want people to go to this product, right? So this portable ice bath. So you can add this as a link here, click on save. So now if someone's going to click on this free orders on, on free shipping on orders over $100, it will take them to the link that you have, right? Maybe you want to send them to a collections like, or maybe a special collection. Hey, you know, the special collection have some discounts, etc. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Now let's go back to theme settings, click on colors. And let's start playing around with the colors. So from the colors, what is now left to change is this background color right here, right? So you can see this, this background is not really white. So if I go to background and I change it to white, yeah, I think it looks kind of good. But if you don't like it, by the way, very handy tool here, you can use this uh, eyedropper, right? It's a color picker. So it's a Google Chrome extension, okay? So you can pick color from web page, right? And then, for example, let's say that you want to have this color as the background of the website, right? So you can click here and then you're going to know exactly the um, the code of this color, right? So I can just copy this and then I can paste it in here. And voila, I have the same color here as here and I picked it for this tool, right? So this used to be very... Uh, very not like I used to go, you know, take a screenshot, go to a website, what color is this? It would give me the thing. But then I found this tool and it's very handy, right? But I think I'm just going to keep it white because white looks pretty clean. And then this uh, color is gray right here. So you can click on accent two and you can change it to whatever you want. Maybe you want to have it kind of like a, uh, maybe a, also a dark blue. Uh, or whatever it is that you want, right? The, the the vibe we're going here with the store is kind of this like bluish colors because it, it is, you know, about ice baths, it's about cold. So yeah, blue is kind of the color here. Now let's also change the color of this button right here. So primary colors, accent one, right? We can make it the same color as this one we did here. But what I recommend you do is you keep this color on the buy button, right? that should be the only color right right here that stands out okay that to make a contrast right black here at the bottom then this one is going to be black right so now the only thing left to change really is this header right so now you know depending on how you want to change it you can go back to it you can go to announcement bar and you can change it to for example color scheme accent two is going to also have it black, right? Or if you change it to background one, it's going to be white as well. Okay. So I think I'm just going to keep it at white. Probably it looks nice and clean. Okay. So there we have it. This is the product page colors. If you want to have this a brighter color, uh, simply go to theme settings, find the blue, right? And then play around with how you want it to be. But I actually kind of like this blue. I think it looks solid. And yeah, this looks good for now. Let's close down the colors. Let's see the typography, right? So you can see the typography here. Um, it looks okay, right? If you want to change the fonts, you can go to typography, headings. So you can have, you have the headings, you have the body, right? So let's say that these are, by the way, different. 
you can see that the font for the heading is different for the uh, font for the body, right? So I, it's up to you how you want to do it, but I would probably keep it all the same. One of my favorite fonts is Montserrat, this one. I'm not sure how suitable it is for this vibe that we're going here for. Um, so yeah, it's up to you really how you want to take it. Also, if you click down here next to Montserrat, you can see exactly like you can choose which one you want, right? So regular, or maybe you want to have like bald for the title. Um, yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to save it, select. Once again, click on change. You can see all the different ones here and choose the one that suits you, right? I'm just going to go to for Montserrat and I'm going to do the same one for body. So I'm going to search it up. And I'm going to click Montserrat. And then here at the bottom, I think I might go for regular because, yeah, I think it looks good. So I'm going to click on select and I'm going to click on save. Now from this theme settings, there are a couple of more things left for us to do. So if you go to social media down here, you will be able to enter the links to your social media accounts, right? So if I paste in an account here, it will give me an icon right here at the bottom. So let me show you. So if I enter the link here and if I click on save, yeah, there we go. We have the icon now at the bottom and always forget to save. It's a very good practice in case your, you know, browser crashes or your computer crashes, you will have the settings safe. So always you do some kind of a little change, click on save. You do a little change, click on save. I had multiple times where I didn't save and then I had to restart from scratch. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, the outline button was at white, so we couldn't see the button. So if you change the outline button to black, it's going to change it here. All right, so now that we fixed the button, let's click on save. And now we can continue to theme settings, scroll all the way down and go to carts. Okay, so carts is very important. Now, if I click on add to cart right here, you can see that the card slides from the right. Okay, so I think there should be three options. Now, if we go to card and we click on card type, there are three options, right? So there's the drawer type. That's the one we have now where it slides from the right. There is the page type. So if I click on save, I close this and I add to card again, it's going to open a completely new page. Okay, so the customer will need to go back uh, to have to go back to the product page. And then the third one is a pop up notification. So if I click on save and I add this to cart, it slides from the top. So I think this one looks pretty clean. So I'm either going to go for this one or I'm going to go for uh, the drawer, right? Maybe the drawer. I like the drawer. So I'm going to keep it as a drawer or you can also keep it out as, as a page or a pop notification. That's up to you. But this is where you change the card type, okay? You can also enable card notes. So if I click on enable card notes and I go to the card page, I can have order special instructions, right? So this is where people will be able to type these instructions, right? So if you require that, it's also enabled here. And lastly here, let's go to checkout and let's add our logo that we had. And we're going to position it in center actually, and we're going to give it a medium size and everything else stays the same except for these colors. So the buttons, I'm going to keep the same color as our primary buy it now button for accents. I'm going to keep, I'm going to give it maybe like a a yellow color or something bright, right? So people will be able to accent this. And then the errors are in red because people are used to that. Click on save. And basically what this is going to do is if I add this product to cards and I go to checkout, you will be able to see the logo and you will see the colors here, which look don't look good. So we will need to change them, right? So this greenish color that we did, I'm going to go to theme settings all the way down. So maybe black. Yeah, black is much better. And then I'm going to click on save. And by the way, as you can see, the header here uh, on the checkout page is white. So what you can do is you can actually change the logo to the other one. So if you click on change and you use the black one, you can see that it looks much better. And once that's done, I'm going to click on save. OK, so let's go back to the shop, our ice bath product here, and let's start to customize the layout of the actual store. Okay, so all of this can be seen here on the left hand side, right? You have the header parts, which consists of the announcement bar and the header. And if you hover over something, it's going to show you where it is on the right hand side. So if I hover over quantity selector, you will be able to see exactly on the left on the right, where is the quantity selector? Okay, so you can look here. Okay, this is the text here on the left. Maybe I don't like it. I'm going to hide it. Okay, very good. So now I just have the title. Then I have the price. Then I have the size selector. 
Okay, I have the quantity and add to cart buttons. Okay, looks good. And then I have the description, then I have the share button. I don't really want the share button, so I'm gonna hide it. And then let's start adding some blocks here or some sections, okay? So we have the related product section here. So if you have multiple products, you can keep that. Uh, from the sections here, there are many different things that you know Shopify offers, right? One of my favorite are is video. So let's say that I add a video block and I move it here, you know, or I move it right underneath the product. So I'm gonna fold this. So right underneath the product and, and underneath the description, I'm gonna have the video. Now to enter, to paste the video here, you can do it two ways. You can either upload the video, so you can select a video, you can see I already have a video. I click on done, right? So this video is in my library. You just simply upload it there and you select it. Or if you have the video on YouTube or Vimeo, you can just simply t type in the URL right here and that's going to present this video right here. So I'm gonna paste my video here and I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna click on save. So there we have it. We have the video of me actually trying the ice bath for 30 days, but I did it in a lake, not in one of these. So if you wanna check it out, check it out. It's pretty cool. I tried ice bath 30 days by George Vlasiev. It's on my channel. And you can also change the heading. So for example, you know, ice bath challenge, okay? Or ice bath benefits, maybe that'll be shorter. Yeah, and then I click on save. Okay, so it looks pretty clean. Now we have the video right under the description. Let's select another section right here. So maybe I really like these collapsible content right here. So these collapsible content, if I add it here, it's basically these like things that can fold. So it's pretty interactive and it's also a little bit visual, right? So if I click on collapsible content, I can say like benefits of ice baths. I'm going to change this to, so I said ready for a challenge. Then I have the video here and then I say benefits of ice baths. So here, if you click on these collapsible rows, you can say, for example, you know, boosts immune system. And then here you have an icon. So if I click on this icon and I click choose, for example, hearts, I click on save. So you can see boosts immune system with a little heart. I mean, that looks amazing. And then I can enter the actual content that I want here. So you can say whatever you want. In this case, I said boost your immune system with a 30 day ice bath challenge. And then if you click here, that's exactly the text I'm going to have here. Okay. So this is very, very beneficial. And I think this looks amazing. So I'm going to click on save. And then once you've designed the ones you want, so in this case, I wrote boost immune system, improve resilience and makes you grittier. Okay. So these are the benefits of ice baths. And let's say that I don't want the last collapsible row. So I simply click on it, click on this red remove button and voila. Now we only have three. Once again, click on save and it looks pretty good now. By the way, in terms of colors and layouts, I like to keep it very simple. So in this case, it's like black and white and there's an accent blue color here, right? And it's just very easy to understand what's going on. Okay, let's see what other sections we have right here. So we have a collection list, a rich text. So if you wanna you know, present your brand more, you can do it with an image and with text. Um, there we have these like multi columns and multi rows. So this is, by the way, what I was talking about, the difference between desktop view and mobile view. So if I click on a multi column, you can see that from mobile point of view, these are just like three rows right after the other. But if I switch to a desktop view, you can see that these are columns in a horizontal view, okay? So this is what I was talking about when I was telling you that you should first optimize for mobile and then check on desktop how it's looking, okay? So if you wanna have these columns, you know, you can add an image here as well. So I'm gonna add this image here and then I could talk about, you know, whatever this is, is. so unlock the ice bath edge, I can change the heading, I can change the description. Alternatively, if I don't wanna have this multi-column, I can just add an image with text so I'm gonna hide this multi-column and I'm gonna do an image with text. So I'm gonna add this image that we had here. And then if I click on the text here, I'm gonna say, explore the power of ice. And then here you can say whatever you want. I'm not gonna do it now, but you get the point, right? So it looks pretty good now. Let's see what other sections we have here. We have an email sign up, which we already have here at the bottom. Okay, so we don't need to add it. 
uh, we added the video we added an image with text so i think that's pretty much it i'm not going to add anything else if you want to have like you know featured uh, collection you can also that add that if you have more products you can add them at the bottom so people if they scroll down they can see what other products they can buy from your store then I click on save and now we have a pretty good product page if you ask me so it looks pretty clean we have the slider here with different images and we have the headings the price we have the sizes so if you offer sizes uh, quantity add to cart buttons description we have the video all right looks amazing then we have the benefits of the ice bath with these collapsible rows here then we have the image with text and by the way this button right here so if you click on it add it so it goes to uh, a product and then it goes to this product right here or if you don't want to have it all together just simply click on remove right in this case we don't really need it click on save now another thing that's very important for us to add before we move any forward is something which is called policies right so when you're going to be buying ads on social media it's going to those bots from those companies are going to scan your website looking for specific things that are going to approve your advertising. So in this case, they're looking for terms of service, privacy policy and, and all of that. Right. So they need to be here in the footer and we don't have anything right now. So to fix this, let's go back to exit the theme editor. Let's go to settings, go to policies. Now you can see that I already have the policies here, but you basically just want to click this button here, which says create from template. You want to create the refund policy, the privacy policy and the terms of service. Now all is left for me to do is go back to themes, click on refresh, customize. And here, if you click on footer and you scroll down, you can say show policy links. So I'm going to enable show policy links and I'm going to click on save. And now you can see we have the refund policy, privacy policy and terms of service. This is a very small thing, but this one thing can make or break between your ads not being approved, which happened to me before. OK, so let's move on to designing the actual home page. OK, so home page is a little bit less important, in my opinion, than the product page, because what I used to do is I used to drive all of the traffic to a product page and home page received, you know, less than 10 percent of the traffic. So it's a bit less important, but still it's kind of like the representation of your business. So yeah, it's pretty important to have it as well. So let's go ahead and design the home page. All right. So the first thing we have here is the slideshow. OK, so this is the slideshow and this is one of those where, you know, they kind of rotate between one or the other, you know. So if I click on here and I add an image, we're going to see this image right here. I'm going to click on save. And then if I click on add slide and I add another image, it's actually going to be rotating between one and the other slide. And if you click on slideshow, you can actually adjust how often it rotates. So now the slide changes every five seconds. So if I want to go to three seconds, I can do that and we'll go faster. If I want to go slower, of course, you just increase the time and then you click on save. So I'm going to do five seconds and there we have it. Then let's go ahead, click here. Let's change the um, text here. So we're going to say blow the power of ice. You can change the button link here from all products to products and that specific one. So if you're doing like a one product store and you can also change the layout of the buttons here the, at the bottom, you can see mobile layout. So mobile content alignment left. If you change it to center, it's going to move to the center. So I like the center and I'm going to click on save. And once again, if you change to desktop, you can see the image is not optimized. It's too big. Right. So I would change the size of the image. I would make it different. And you can see that the button here is on the bottom is on the left hand side. That's because desktop content alignment is on the left. That's because the alignment here is desktop content position, middle left. So if I do, for example, middle center, it's going to change it to middle center. OK, so I'm just going to keep it middle left because I'm not really going to optimize much for desktop because I don't have the proper images because this is not my brand. But obviously you want a different image here because this doesn't look too good. But for mobile, it's OK. So then if we scroll down, we can see that we have the featured products here, which I mean, if you have many products in your store, you can keep that. If you're just selling one product, you can remove that. You can change it with something else. So click on add a section. You can also feature a product. So this is sometimes what I do is I click on a featured product and then I select this product right here. So let's say that I want to put this portable ice bath here and I click on select and save. So then even here on the home page, you can see that if I scroll down, I'm going to have this product, but I'm not sure how good of a practice this is. Maybe you want to kind of talk more a little bit here about your brand and about the products you're selling. So choose from any of these options here. There are so many of them and design it to your own liking. 
Now, before I show you a couple of useful apps, the last thing that we got to do here for the kind of uh, layout of the website is the menu. So the menu is very important. This is like the navigation. And to fix that, you exit the theme editor and go to navigation. And the main menu is what's going to it's, it's what you're going to see when you click that three line. OK, so to add more pages here, what do you want to do is go to pages, click on add a page. And let's say that you want to add something like shipping and delivery, right? You're going to write your shipping and delivery here and you're going to click on save. By the way, another useful thing here that let's say that this is a contact page, right? And, you know, you want to have people be able to leave their contact information so then you can contact them. So what you can do is simply click on theme template and change it to contact. And then if you save this and you view the page, now, all of a sudden, this page became a contact page, which is also very handy, okay? So I'm going to change this to default page. I'm going to say shipping and delivery, or just shipping. I'm going to save it. Go back to navigation. Click on main menu. I'm going to add a menu item, link, pages, shipping, and click on add. And now save. So now, if I go back to our themes, customize next to our refresh page and I click on the menu, we can see that we now have the shipping page. Okay. And of course, to add the information into the shipping page, you go to pages, you go to shipping and you type whatever you want here. Okay. So yeah, now let's move on to a couple of useful apps. So if you click on add apps and you go to Shopify app store, you want to look for estimated delivery dates. Then scroll down and this one right here, the green, what <laughs> kind of like the time and the cards in the middle. So it's about $15 a month. They have a seven day free trial. And this is something that I used to use on my own e-commerce stores. And to show you how it looks, just go to citycaps.co. This is the website that I sold. Click on any of the hats. And now you will see once it loads, estimated delivery to Finland, June 2, June 5. If you click on, if you right click on the website, click on inspect, you will be able to see the website from mobile. And this is how it looks like. So the person who is running the store now needs to fix the padding here a little bit between the line and the text. But this is basically what it is. It's a dynamic thing. There are some very simple settings inside the app. And you can say, hey, my delivery takes, you know, one week. Um, if the person orders before 12 o'clock, I can ship it today. Uh, if they order after 12, I can deliver in one extra day. So you can see that this is like a dynamic timer. And depending on when the person enters the website and when they uh, you know, view this page, this is going to change. Okay. So if I come one minute later, it's going to be 13 hours and 30 minutes, right? So it says, hey, do you want this hat June 2nd? And they're like, hmm, when is June 2nd? Yes, I want it. So I need to order like within this time frame. Oh, okay. I better order now because then I can have it in time for that party or whatever it is, right? So yeah, this is really handy. And this is something that I highly suggest you get. Order deadline, get it. The second app that I highly recommend is, of course, Luke's. Now, if you want to do me a little favor and you want to get Luke's, make sure to get it with my link down in the description. It's at no extra cost to you, and I'm going to get a small commission from this. So Luke's is a reviews app, right? So you'll be able to import reviews uh, onto your store, even if you don't have any. So I actually have a video on my channel uh, where you can see how to import reviews to your store using Luke's. And by the way, if you would like to watch that video, make sure to click this video right now on the screen and I'm going to show you how to import Luke's reviews. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe.